Hello everyone, welcome to another video. What we're going to do today is uh, calculate body mass index. And this is another example for the way we could uh, generate our own expressions and implement them here in Excel. So what I've got here is a set of uh, values for weight and height. And what I'm looking for is a calculation for body mass index. Now it turns out the formula for body mass index is weight over height squared. But as you can see, this is meant to be for weight in kilograms and height in meters squares, right? Because it's height squared, so meters times meters, the units turn out to be meters squared. But we have got height in inches in our data. So this would require some sort of manipulation, a transformation of our height in inches to our height in meters, and then we could always multiply it with itself to obtain height squared and then use this fraction to calculate body mass index. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, let's convert the height in inches into meters. For that, I'm going to right click and insert a column, right? And I'm going to call it um, height in, uh, let us just say meters, okay? In the formula, uh, and I would need a formula, right? To convert, to make this uh, conversion. And I have the right formula here. Let me just bring it closer. And everything is in the same frame. And there it is, okay? So the conversion for inches to height is fairly straightforward. If you have height in inches, just divide it by 39.37 and you will get height in meters. That is exactly what we're going to do. Now, is equal to signs right away for our expression. We've got our height in inches, that's the numerator, and we divide it by 39.37, the denominator, right? And we're doing it for this particular uh, cell, so height in inches divided by 39.37, we get our height in meters and we hit enter. So that is our height in meters, and we could always drag it from the bottom right corner all the way to obtain the same formulation for all of these rows. Just for verification, we could see this is C5, the next cell is in fact C6, and then we do have C7. So turns out to be uh, correct uh, for each row. Now let's head to the body mass index uh, formulation. This is a fraction that we're trying to implement, right? So equals to for the beginning of our expression, we open our brackets. Let's get the weight in the numerator. Let's do click for B4, and then we're going to close our brackets plug in a division sign because now we want to, uh, and that is the division sign. Now we want to open brackets and implement height squared, right? So it, and it is in meters. So we choose our height and then we multiply, use the static sign, and then we click it again to complete our expression because it's height multiplied by height, right? So that sets our denominator perfectly we had the weight in numerator, the color code also confirms this, blue for weight, red for height, and it's getting multiplied with itself, that would square it, and that should give us our expression um, and the value for body mass index. Again, from the bottom right corner, we could drag it all the way down to populate the rest of the fields. Right. So this is uh, just another example of how we could use or implement certain expressions using Excel formulas such as this for body mass index, where it is a fraction of weight and height squared, right? We could also manipulate certain variables, define them in new columns, and then use them for our expression.